Hey guys, very quick video today. Here's a video I found that briefly tells us why evolution is false. I always enjoy these types of videos that draws or animates the visuals. The evolutionary argument against naturalism. Your beliefs come from your brain. Where did your brain come from? Maybe it's from evolution. Hi. Now evolution, do you care about true or false beliefs? Oh no, I only care about your survival and reproduction. If I could get you to do a survival promoting action, I don't care if you did the action on the basis of true or false beliefs. Yes, I do agree with you to some degree. To pass down your genes to the next generation, what ultimately matters is your fitness. That means even believing things that aren't true is beneficial if it means a better probability of survival. For example, the way I always explain how religion came about is that it brings people together. When people believe in the same thing, they tend to stick to each other, become better friends, and care for each other. So it's no surprise that religion of any kind could come about during human evolution. And of course, you have to truly believe it, otherwise the bonding doesn't work, even if the belief itself is wrong. But of course, I like to say it's primitive thinking, to believe in a god. Now, because of all the science and technology we have developed to increase the quality of life of human beings, people tend to believe in religion less. That's why developing countries tend to have more ties between, say, politics and religion, which is a bad thing, but that's usually not the case for developed countries. But yeah, just because I agree with you on this point does not mean I agree with the next. I don't care if you run away from a tiger because you think it's going to kill you or because you think tigers have black magic, just that you run away. Fear is built into all of us and helped our ancestors survive. If you run away from dangerous animals, you have a better chance of survival, and oftentimes this does clash with our logical thinking. Even if you know something is safe, that still doesn't stop you from being scared of it. Well that's sketchy, so if evolution made a brain, we shouldn't believe it's reliable until we could prove that the brain actually produces true beliefs rather than useful yet false beliefs. Okay, you can't use that as an argument because yes, sometimes believing in the wrong thing can be better for your survival, but that doesn't mean evolution only selects out wrong beliefs. Most of the time, actually, knowing the truth about a situation is much better and leads to better fitness. That's exactly why human beings have become the dominant life form on Earth, because of our ability to think at higher levels and determine the truth in science which creates our technology today. Obviously when it comes to science, we know that what we learned is true because we've built technology around it. From the house you live in, to the TV you watch, to the Wi-Fi you use, it's no different for evolution, and the knowledge of evolution is indeed useful for when we learn about diseases and new treatments. So for example, if you've gotten sick from COVID and had some sort of treatment for it, our knowledge of evolution has at least somewhat been responsible for treating you. If we didn't have our evolutionary studies, we wouldn't have been able to determine where this virus came from, how it mutated to what it is today, and we wouldn't know how variants come about and what it means in terms of public health. All of science is at least intertwined a bit to some degree, so you're benefiting from knowledge that branched out from evolution. Second of all, even if you say that all evolution does for our brains is to believe in things that makes us better for survival, that still would produce rational thinking and intelligence on the side. They're not exclusive to one another. So as we become more and more intelligent, we recognize what kind of beliefs we have that are wrong. So for example, any of the well-known biases, like negativity bias, or anything that talks about human perception, is our way of making our thinking as objective as possible. And it is now, after we have made significant progress in science and technology, do we realize that a lot of our thinking is out of date. The field of psychology tells us about this all the time, and it's time to get rid of some outdated thinking methods such as religion. But any proof that you could come up with relies on your brain already being reliable, the very thing in question. Even if we start with the premise that the reliability of the brain is questionable, that still doesn't conclude the point you are trying to make, because each claim is measured on the merit of the claim itself, not on the person or thing that makes the claim. Whenever an idea is presented, you evaluate it, not the person presenting the idea, or in this case, the brain that presented the idea. Otherwise, it would just be a mild case of poisoning the well. So evolution traps us in being unable to trust any of our beliefs. All of this is assuming that evolution is unguided, but if God guides evolution, then he can ensure that our brains would be reliable. The end. I'm not sure what your stance is since I haven't seen your other videos, but I'm guessing you do believe in evolution, but that God guided it? Not the craziest of claims, but also unfounded since everything described by evolution very well can happen on its own without any sort of intelligent guidance. That's one of the ideas that really defined Darwin's thought in the beginning. Anyway, that's the end of the video today, guys. Very short one, I know. Thank you to my patrons, Fireshard, Alan Morton, JN, and Miss Fixit for supporting me on Patreon. See y'all later.